to President Stewart. People all over this country have been debating and discussing for years what needs to be done to help our young men of color. Thank you for saying enough with the talk. You ended the discussion. You ended the discussion and started the action. Many of you may not know that President Stewart inaugurated this mentoring program within the first few hours he took office last July. That is how important this program is to him. The Students Connecting with Mentors for Success program has impacted my life tremendously. In addition to our relationships with our mentor, the one thing we do best with this group of gentlemen is lift each other up. This program is teaching us to be better. Better friends, better fathers, better husbands, and better men who will make a positive change in this world. This program has brought a group of young men together with a single goal, to be our best selves. And as we have been moving forward towards that goal, we have discovered something greater. We have become a family. You are why we're here. Your success has, I expected it, but you've astounded me with your success. You've amazed me with your accomplishments. This program is formally one semester old, and the cumulative grade point average of our African-American males at that time, campus-wide, was 2.03, the lowest grade point average of any group on our campus. Brian reported today that the average grade point average for the students in the mentorship program is 3.0. And that's one semester, that's the first semester. It's been an amazing turnaround in performance. In a few short years, we are going to be sitting uh, in our living rooms watching television or we're gonna be in a meeting like this and you young men are gonna be up here at the podium. You're gonna be leading this country. You're gonna be leading this city. You're gonna be the police chief. You're gonna be the professor. You're gonna be the college president. You're going to be the lawyer, the doctor, the engineer. And you will do it because of what you have in you. Not what I had in me, but what you have in you. Young males need someone that they know cares about them. Many of these young men have not had a positive male role model in their life ever. Some have, but most haven't. And young males need a positive male role model who can help them do the right thing and become the kind of man they should become. That's why this mentorship program is so important. I have a clear moment when I when I think of like what the pro like when the program started, people always ask me. And a moment comes to my head and I'm like, you wrote me a card, you remember that? For my birthday. Ben, I have been so honored to know you these last few months. God has gifted you in ways that you cannot comprehend. I am so eager to see his plan for you unfold. In addition to seeing your intellect and your work ethic, I have observed what a great heart you have. You are kind, inclusive, and display a genuine love for others. God bless you for that. Please promise me that we will stay in touch. I cannot wait to see God use your life to better this world. Always know that I am here for you unconditionally. Your brother, Brian. To me, that's when the program started. Really? Because 
just at any moment, you could have not stuck to your word. You could have moved on. You know, you're a businessman. You got other things and other priorities in your life that you could be doing. And then life is about, it's not about making the right decision. It's about making a decision and sticking to it and making it the right decision. I just realized that you never really gave up on me. And everything in this card, like it's came true. You have made them happen. But it's all because you made a decision you stuck with. And then from there, it spawned onto being what the SEMS program is. People in my position like to discuss and talk about the number of buildings they've built, the number of new programs they've started, and so on. And we are going to build new buildings and we've started new programs. But I want to just say two things to the gentlemen, the young men in the program. I don't need a building or a program named for me. You are my legacy. And I want you to know that I love you. Thank you for being here tonight. We did it. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> and you weren't supposed to be college material, and look at you. Man, I am so proud of you. I mean it.